As we're waiting for more news and updates from Tesla Giga Berlin, there is some type of an interesting, miraculous kind of event in Berlin. The BER, Berlin International Airport, is actually in operation. Now the time has come. Nine years and one day after the first uh, scheduled start date in 2011, the first plane landed at the new Berlin Airport this Saturday. Today, a flight from the local Tegel Airport the opening day, however, is accompanied by protests. I'm going to tell you why is this important for Tesla and Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So Berlin Airport, that was supposed to open in 2011, finally opened today. And I'm going to tell you, but it was also greeted with protests, but I'm going to tell you why why it's important for Tesla. If you go to tesla.com uh, gigafactory Berlin, that Berlin Gigafactory's page on tesla.com, you see that they kind of mention airport Berlin, the proximity of Giga Berlin to Berlin airport. That means Tesla has some type of uh, reliance on Berlin Giga, Giga Ber uh, Berlin airports, new airports operation. Here's what Tesla says on its website. Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg will be an ideal work environment with modern and sustainable futures situated in the municipality of Grünheide and its natural surroundings and extensive infrastructure of bicycleways, roads and highways, direct train connections, as well as close to the new International Airport Berlin, BER, will ensure um, and convenience accessibility from the vibrant city of Berlin nearby to the broader region of Germany and Europe. So as Tesla mentions Berlin, that means Tesla counts on Berlin airport because there's going to be lots of business visits through Berlin airport, but airport was closed for 10, 11 years, was not op operating, actually didn't start, but was scheduled to open in 2011. Now, after so many days, finally it opens. So let's see what happened. Berlin's uh, uh, actually, Brandenburg's RBB24 reports that after years of delay, the new Berlin Brandenburg Airport, Willy Brand, uh, the codename is BER, started operations on Saturday. At 2.01 p.m., the first plane landed at the new airport in rainy Schoenfeld, the um, EasyJet flight EJU3110, which had started an hour earlier at Tegel Airport. This was followed by the Lufthansa flight LH2020 from Munich at 2.05 p.m. Because of the difficult weather conditions, both aircraft had to land one after the other on the northern runway. Originally, they were supposed to land on the north and south runway at the same time. The fact that EasyJet was allowed to set up first is also a small hint. After all, both airlines are fighting for market leadership at the new capital city airport in Berlin. Guests from politics, business and the media, as well as employees of the airline, as well as the respective company boss Johan Lundgren and Carsten Spohr were on board the premier aircraft. Um, the maiden flight of the new airport will then also be completed by an EasyJet on Sunday at 6.45 a.m. to London. Uh, is this a historic day? Say They say no, not a historic day, but an important one. For 14 years of construction and several postponed start dates are part of the history of the new airport, which are also discussed in a separate exhibition. Uh, Engelbite Lutke Dardlop took over the management of Flughafen Berlin Brandenburg uh, in March 2017 and thus became the airport manager. Due to the difficult history of its origins and the current corona situation, the official opening afterwards was only very small. Small, Lutke Daldrop emphasized on its, his birthday that it was not a historic day, but an important one for Berlin and Brandenburg. I think this is important for Tesla and Giga Berlin as well, because Tesla is going to use this airport for 
shipments of some materials maybe, for cargo shipments, for business trips and so on. Brandenburg's Prime Minister Dietmar Wojtke, Berlin's Governing Mayor Michael Mueller uh, and Federal Transport Minister Andrea Schoer also took part of the historic operation. After all, both Tesla and uh, Flight, uh, they're all in transportation business. Here's what they said. This airport is also a piece of a reu reunification and post turnaround history, said Mueller. He recalled the countless problems in building history. There have been days in the past few years that made me desperate. Wojtke also looked at the national competition. Wojtke, who has been extremely um, supportive of Tesla Giga Berlin, said, we need to be on par with Frankfurt on Main and Munich airports. The start is a sign of optimism in this virus crisis. Schoer also wanted to look ahead, saying the time of jokes about BER must now be over. Last year, this time of the year in October, I was in Berlin. I traveled to Berlin for a business trip and uh, I used the, um, uh, the airport that was being used until now. It was very narrow, very small, very uncomfortable. I mean, thankfully, we arrived and uh, arrived there safely. But um, I'm so glad there is a new airport now there. And But the climate activists and taxi drivers are protesting. Um, so RBB reports that the opening of BER airport was accompanied by several demonstrations against the project. Several dozen members of the group on the ground remain had a Saturday morning in Terminal 1 organized sitting in. In addition, activists roped down from the building's canopy with protest banners. The climate activists criticized the fact that a large airport is being opened in times of the climate crisis. A spokeswoman for the group announced in to the RBB be that there would be further acts of civil disobedience throughout the day. Activists from the Extinction Rebellion group tried to prevent a machine from starting at Terminal 5 in Schoenfield. A spokeswoman for Extinction Rebellion Berlin said on Saturday that one activist stuck himself to the door of the aircraft while boarding a flight to Istanbul with the Turkish Airlines Pegasus Airlines, another to the gangway and uh, two others to the floor of the tarmac. What is happening? I don't know. A spokeswoman for the federal police said that action had now ended and the machines uh, kind of started their work. Other groups like Friday for Future also protested. RBB reports that in Berlin, around 1,000 taxi drivers took their cars to Berlin BER airport in the morning. 50 taxis were allowed to drive up directly in front of Terminal 1 and use the opportunity for a horn concert. They were signaling. With the rally, they wanted to demonstrate that in future, all 7,000 Berlin taxis will be able to pick up passengers at BER. So far, only 300 Berlin taxis are allowed. So 6,700 were not allowed. But there aren't that much flights there. Now they, the flights has to grow so they can be allowed in, in that area. We'll see. The first opening date was uh, October 30th, 2011. was supposed to be then, but now we're in 2000, October 31st, uh, 2020. The government terminal on the BER site has been in operation since last week, though. Another passenger terminal is ready, but will not go into operation until next year due to the virus related collapse in passenger numbers. According to the operator, the three BER airport terminals can accommodate up to 41 million passengers a year. The economic plan assumes around 18 million for next year, half as many as in 2019. The next big opening step will take place in the middle of the week with the move of most of the scheduled airlines from Tegel to Berlin. From then on, the southern runway will also be used regularly. The relocation of air traffic to Berlin, which will be the only Berlin airport in the future, will be completed on November 8th when Berlin's most important airport Tegel will cease its scheduled services. The first official announcing opening date was October 30, 2011. Since then, there had been five other opening dates, all of which were cancelled. The cost of building and soundproofing for residents tripled to around 6 
billion euros. Why so different directions of operations? Airplanes always take off and land against the wind. At BER, as at most airports in Europe, the two runways are arranged almost exactly in an east-west direction. This corresponds to the predominantly prevailing main wind direction. This then determines the uh, operating direction west or east. The operating direction west operation is selected when the wind comes from the west. That means aircraft take off and land in the direction of the west takeoff and land in easterly direction if the wind direction changes over the course of the day the tower and control center can jointly change the operating direction while the air traffic is running experience has shown that in the greater berlin area there is about two-thirds of the west wind and one-third of the east wind throughout the year isn't this interesting i think so so it's good news for Tesla, it's good news for Berlin, it's good news for Germany. Hope people can use it in the best possible way. Uh, and in the meantime, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you planning to visit um, uh, Germany for Tesla to visit maybe Giga Berlin? If yes, you can use now this new airport. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon.